itself. Uh, great summer for those who own the shares of Hindustan Zinc. Uh, let's uh, get Anshu Sharma, who has caught up with the big man at the moment, Sunil Dugal, CEO of Hindustan Zinc. 1375% dividend announced by HZL and 95% in October. So this is the final one for, uh, for the investors? As of now, we would say it is final one, but we will take a final decision in the month of April. Mm -hmm. A lot of investors as well as analysts believe that this is the precursor uh, to uh, government's residual stake sale in HZL. Uh, could you elaborate on that? It is just the guesswork where the people are doing in the market. So it is uh, where there's no discussion which has taken place in the board. Uh, no agenda has been brought by uh, by any of the stakeholders. So mm -hmm. uh, as on as of now, I don't think any anything is going to happen in the time to come in the near future. But if you look at the history, the dividend payout has increased uh, from 2014 onwards and in the last financial year and this financial year, we have seen the highest in terms of 1200% and 1375%. So uh, how is the trend changing? It is nothing like a trend changing. The, the, the company's performance has become more robust in the last four, few years. So, you know, the balance sheet was becoming very healthy. The returns, you know, on the investment, uh, I mean, are, are okay. So the, 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 the cash was piling up. So we decided at some point of time in, in a board that it will be worthwhile to deliver to the shareholders and reward them. So we rewarded them even, even after paying uh, this dividend of 14,000 crore odd. Uh, you can see that the cash balance at the end of the year uh, would be around 15,000 crores. So the cash lying uh, at a level of 15,000 crore, you can see uh, yeah, which, which, which is enough to fund the projects going forward and take any other decision if we want to take, uh, you know, take a bold decision on uh, any investment or diversification at that point of time. So I think uh, that that was a decision which was taken by the board. Okay, so this financial year, 95%, and yesterday the board decided 1,375% uh, dividend uh, for its shareholder, but it's still a special uh, dividend. Can we expect more dividend uh, for the current financial year since you just spoke about 15,000 crore cash balance? I don't think uh, for the current year and any further dividend would be there, but it is a board matter which will be decided. But as on off the the understand, there is no understanding that any further dividend would be would be given uh, at the end of the year. Can investors expect 100% dividend payout in next one, two, three years? <laughs> it is a board matter. I'll no, I, I'll be nobody because there's the, a the lot of lot of cash which has which has already been taken out uh, from 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 uh, from the balance mm -hmm. balance sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, going forward, it all depends on what will be the performance of the. Uh, performance of the company, although the volumes are uh, going up mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, as the as you, you also see the prices, uh, the way it is looking, uh, healthy prices are looking and maybe the rally may continue and along with the volume and the silver volume. So it all depends what happens, how the balance sheet will look, will, will look like and uh, what decision the board of director will take at that point of time. Uh, I am nobody to comment at this point of time. So will the cash uh, received by the parent company be utilized for the Anglo-American stake uh, which has been acquired recently? That's not uh, my prerogative and uh, I'm nobody to decide the cash which will go to Vedanta, the better you ask uh, Vedanta guys. Okay. So what is the outlook you see for Zinc? Many investors, uh, analysts believe that uh, in 2017-18 it will peak the highest price. So how do you see the outlook on prices for Zinc? I am very bullish personally. If you ask me, you know, mm -hmm. how the turn of events have happened last yeah. year, so around 0.8 to 1 million ton of the deficit of concentrate which has happened, mm -hmm. so which has put a lot of pressure on the smelters mm -hmm. and because of, the, because of which the treatment charges have gone to the rock bottom in the history of the zinc. Mm -hmm. so, so it has put a lot of pressure on the, on the smelters and they are not able to earn any profit along with that. It, it also doesn't look like that the mine supply will pick up in the mm -hmm. time to come. So, so I, have, I have heard that, uh, you know, around 0.5 million tons of capacity in China is shut down mm -hmm. and that, that will put an additional pressure on the supply side. Mm -hmm. And uh, you must have also heard, you know, last week, Peru, floods, floods have come. Yeah. And because of the flood situation, the, some smelters are uh, force major 
closed. They have, they have shut down. The the rail tracks are washed out. Some mines are also flooded. Yeah. I have heard you know one uh, mine around 0.4 million tons of supply per annum. Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not sure when when the operation of some of these smelters or the mines or the railway track will resume. Mm -hmm. But in the near term, maybe in the n next three months' time, it will further tighten up uh, you know the supply side. So I expect both the prices and the premium should look up. Okay. What is the outlook on production for HCL? Uh, we are ramping up, mm -hmm. and we, we we are on we are on right track, and we will deliver uh, 1.2 million in 1920. Every year the volume is growing. Mm -hmm. uh, the silver is growing at a much faster pace because the contribution from the silver rich mine is going up mm -hmm. year by year. So next year there will be further growth on the volume which will which we will deliver this year. Okay. So what could be the timeline for government's residual stake sale? It is again on the agenda for the government on strategic sale for the next financial year. Have you heard anything from the government? Do you expect, are you positive that very soon the government will be able to uh, sell its residual stake? No communication has come from the government. No discussion has taken place in the board. No, no tickers or feelers have come. So I don't think in the near future anything is going to happen. But it all depends on how the turn of events will happen and the discussion will take place there. Yeah. There was one proposal given by HZL on buyback of shares, which uh, never got uh, uh, a nod from the government. Uh, will that proposal again come back in the new financial year? No, you must have heard, Mine Secretary told at some point of time they're taking a legal opinion. So mm -hmm. they referred it to the AG. Mm -hmm. uh, the opinion uh, couldn't come, mm -hmm. and it was taking a little more time. So in the meantime, Board of Directors thought that uh, it is worthwhile at this point of time mm -hmm. to disburse the, disburse the uh, dividend mm -hmm. uh, rather than waiting for that. So let's see what happens going forward.